really don't know where he wants it. I can't see him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, July the 25th, and uh, I'm headed down here uh, to where we're going to be putting in the river screen. I think Gabe, the pivot doctor, is already down here with Dad, so we're going to go down here, have a little meeting, get an idea of what we're going to do with the river screen, how we're going to get it in, and how we're going to tie it off with the cables, and basically figure out how we're going to get the whole thing hooked up, because we're getting into a little dry period right now. And uh, when I leave to go to the World Series, uh, hopefully we'll have this thing in and uh, Dad will be pumping while I'm gone. Um, other than that, I know we're probably going to be pulling out the combines and stuff and the grain carts and getting them hooked up because when I get back from the World Series again with Thomas, um, we're probably going to be trying corn harvest. It is right around the corner, guys. So um, that's kind of all I know right now. So uh, yeah, let's get it started. There's the river screen. Gosh, what was that? So what about the track though? Are we getting it now? I don't know. After we got to get on the phone. Let's see how soon we can get it. Here. Talking about putting a, a something similar to this bolts in it, it ear bends out and have a hole in it mm -hmm. on either side. Then you have those rods that we drive in the ground. That's what it's going to fasten to it. That's what's going to let it kind of float up and down to be out. Mm -hmm. See, Dan, you could come right here, reach over it, and we could chain it. Mm -hmm. And it wants to it naturally tilt up because we have to stand on the front mm -hmm. to hold it down. So you're going to be, it's going to be like this. And then you'll set it in the water and come down. And Gabe said he can swim good. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bathing suit? Yep. Keep one in my truck all the time. <laughs> you going down the river with that thing. You yeah. ain't gonna like that there um, tape, I don't believe. I hate that tape. I do too. <laughs> Put my glasses on, boy. They got a little, little bitty numbers. Well, and they got the numbers in the way. Well, where's the two inch line? It's right there. Okay. All right, that's one, two. We're going to the bottom hole. Ah, no. Let me get my tape. Mm-hmm. We're four inches apart there. They're two inches apart exactly. Okay. Yeah. They're two inches on center. Right. Show you a good tape. Yeah, I know. God, I almost hit that tree. So, okay, looks like we are going to be trying to uh, get that baby in the river today. Uh, biggest thing is we got to get a track hoe down here. We got to find somebody to haul it down here, get it down here. And then uh, we got to do a few things to the river screen. I don't know if y'all heard Dad and Gabe what they were going over, but I'll explain all that a little bit later. And if you don't know what a river screen is, I will explain that a little bit later when we're putting those parts on it. But uh, yeah, that looks like the plan for today. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Because um, we have been wanting to do this change for a long time. I've never seen one of these work. And uh, they're supposed to be really efficient pumps. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped. And if you didn't know what I'm talking about, about the World Series, Thomas's little baseball team, uh, the 8U team, they are going to the World Series uh, this Thursday. And uh, that's when we're going to be heading out of town. So we're trying to get all this done before then. But uh want to wish their team good luck. They got a good little baseball team. They're all super, super athletes on that team. And uh, they got a good shot at winning it. So um, we went last year. I think we got like maybe fifth. But uh, I think we're a little bit better this year. So um, anyway, wish them good luck. And uh, we'll see what happens down there. Alright, so here's what we got so far. These babies right here, these pieces of angle iron, 
these we're going to drive them in the ground and we're just we're just getting some more basically anchor points for the uh, river screen so we'll take these right here stand them up straight drive them down in the ground with the track hoe bucket and we like these because they already had some holes drilled in them and uh so we got two of them one right there and one right there we'll drive those down in the ground and then these pipe right here these are what is going to attach to the river screen that's what we're going to have some eye bolts and stuff that we were talking about that mounted on it and uh so the pipe will join to the river screen out there and then the other end of the pipe will join to these pieces of angle iron we'll know some links and stuff once we get these driven in the ground then we'll know how long to make these these uh these poles right here but it's what i know so far all right track uh, track hole is right where you unload it at trickle all right let me uh let me see what i can do and i'll call you back in a little while i'm gonna try to get it right after lunch but uh let me please don't let me promise you right now okay all right billy Golly, look at that dirt dauber do they bite probably do <laughs> Jeez. You're making the ears that's going to be on the river screen that those pipes hook to. But you need a piece of flat, flat iron to weld it to with, with uh, four inch hole centers. You may have to put it to the side so your bolt to go through. Mm -hmm. It's already gotten hot. Stone. <gasps> Lucky day, it didn't break. Then you find your uh, square, which is uh, usually laying right here, and that's how you mark it. So I offset the holes a little bit because we're going to have this plate. It's got to go somewhere right in there. So yes, the holes are not in the center of this and that was by design. They need to be offset. So got room for that. So we'll go ahead and punch a hole. I'm ready to drill. That. Next. All right, we're on our. <laughs> I don't even remember. Third bit, fourth bit, whatever. They um. And it's all a little on the dull side. Oh yeah, he's got Perfect.
So there's the first one right there. And uh, I got it at an angle, a little bit too sharp of an angle. I wanted it pretty much close to straight up, but a slight tilt. But when I tacked it, um, I thought I could weld on this side really hard and it would bring it over, um, but it didn't. So dad said it's okay, he approved. So uh, yeah, one down, one more to go. All right, so here is what the last thing I'm having to weld up, and these are the arms that's gonna bolt to the uh, river screen. But this is galvanized, so don't look at that weld too hard. Anyway, this piece wasn't long enough, so I had to weld it all the way around. Then we put an angle iron, give it a little strength. Got one done, now I'm working on the last one. Oh, hot, 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 and splattered everywhere. Can't stand it. Hitting the boat, hitting the boat right here. I need to grind right in the middle there, just a little. Now we need four five eighths bolts that we can double nut, and with wash flat washers and double nuts. Something about, about like that, about like a two or three inch bolt, five eighths. You want me to get it? Yeah, you get the boat. Never can find a bag when you need one. There we go. All right, what did he say? What did he say? All right, one, two, three, four. Now I need some flat washer. I need eight, four, six. Eight, six, eight, that's it. Whoa, don't go. So I said earlier, I was gonna explain what a river screen is, and this is a river screen if you do not know. Um, but what we've got is our old pumping station down here just was not efficient enough. We kept getting a lot of mud and sand in our pumps, and it, it just, it got to the point where everything was so clogged up, we just could not make it work anymore. But the problem with where we are pumping right here, we are down river, um, our water level fluctuates a lot and uh, so we had to design something that is going to be floating out there in the water and can go up and down with the water levels so this is where we come to the river screen so this is where all the action is right here this little screen is going to be turning by this little motor right here anyway it's going to be turning and these i don't know if you can see these little jets in there these nozzles, anyway, they are going to be shooting water back out. So as this screen turns, it's going to be cleaning off this screen. And what it does, you see these holes up in there? Big holes in the pipe. That is where the water is going to be going into that giant pipe. And uh, this thing can basically sit out there and float in a minimum amount of water and still pump. So this whole contraption is gonna be sitting out here. These big black things right here, they're the pontoons. That is what is gonna keep it afloat. And those wheels too, keep it, keep that in floating. Uh, so yeah, this whole thing is gonna be sitting out there floating on the water. This is where that big rubber hose is gonna to hook to. This is where the water is gonna be going toward the irrigation. And this whole contraption is gonna be run off electricity, which is gonna be another plus for us. No oil changes, no diesel, no oil all electric you come down here and flick on a switch but uh this giant electric motor is going to be turning this big old pump 
and it is a big one too. And that's the electrical cores that um are gonna hook up to our power pole. But uh, yeah, that is one big electric motor. But there's a the river screen. Didn't know what it was. Now you do. So what we had to do is we had to get the uh, cotton picker out of the seed house. Uh, Wayne, every year before we start into corn, he's got to clean the floor down there at the seed house. That's where our corn dumps on the floor. Anyway, we had to move this bad boy out of there so uh, he could finish up doing that. So uh, yeah, we are in the process of getting everything ready to go. This is an exciting time of the year when we start pulling out all the harvest equipment. Well, look what I forgot. Yep. Did I say it's hot today? Have I said that already? It's hot. That's good stuff right there. So, okay, here's the last thing we're probably going to do as far as uh, dealing with the river screen today. Uh, obviously, we're going to walk the track hoe down there. We're going to see if we can get those angle irons driven in the ground with this bucket right here. Uh, we're going to get both of them mashed in the ground the right depth. And uh, those are, those are going to be what holds the river screen. Um, and then probably the last thing we'll do is use the track hoe, hook it up to the river screen, pick it up, walk it down there uh, close to the bank. And um, that way it'll be in place for tomorrow. Gabe will be there in the morning. Um, that's when we're going to actually lift it up set it in the river and uh we'll do all the um hooking up and all he knows how to do all that stuff all the electrical stuff so once we get that done that's probably going to wrap it up for the video so let's get to walking I don't know where he wants it. I can't see him. <laughs> Watch out, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he just went rolling. Now that looks a lot better. The way we had it, I was afraid 
the thing looked like it was headed toward the river. But, um, all right, that's where she's gonna sit overnight. Well guys, that's gonna uh, wrap it up for this video. We are out of time. Um, like I said, um, Gabe is coming tomorrow morning uh, to um, finish up putting the river screen actually in the water. So hopefully on the next video, which will be part two of, uh, I guess we'll call it the uh, river screen installation. Um, anyway, hopefully we'll get it in the water on this next video and uh, we'll actually be pumping water over in the valley to all our irrigations. But as for this video, we are done. So um, here's where I ask y'all a couple of favors. Uh, if you don't mind clicking the little thumb means you like the video. And also if you wanna share the video with any of your friends or anybody you want to, feel free to share, share, share. Uh, that'll help our channel grow. Um, so if you'll do that, we'll really appreciate it. And then the last thing, if you want to subscribe, I know a lot of people just watch the videos and they don't subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, it is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, basically you'll get notified when I'm putting out a video because they're pretty sporadic with this, with this baseball still going on. That's where I'm headed now to, uh, they got two more practices left. And like I said, we leave Thursday for uh, the World Series. So um, anyway, if you subscribe, you'll get a notification bell as soon as i put out a video you'll get a ding and then you'll know hey triple r farms put out a video so anyway if you want to do those three things that will help us out other than that guys you know what we're about to say we'll see y'all on the next one we are out see you later